Hi, babies. Okay, let's talk sex. Better than sex mascara, that is. I got this mascara in a beauty box subscription. I was really excited about it. I've heard like mixed reviews, but I was like, oh, I want it, I want it so bad. So I finally got it in my box and the wand, if you can see this a little bit, it has like an hourglass shape and it's really fluffy and beautiful. And I was like, this is gonna do amazing things to my lashes. So I've been trying it out and every time that I do, <clears throat> the same thing happens. I put it on and my lashes are beautiful and thick and luxurious. And then a few hours later, this is what happens. Look at this, look at this. Can you see this? I don't know if you can see it as well on camera, but I have these horrible raccoony panda eyes. Now, I want this mascara so bad to work. I mean, the reviews, what the people say about it, the ones that like it, are great. You either love this mascara or you hate this mascara. There is no middle ground whatsoever. I'm wanting to try the um, waterproof version to see if maybe I have some better results because every time I use this mascara, the same thing happens. It transfers under my eyes. I get the little black speckly flakes on my face. It's very unattractive. Now, I have tried so many mascaras and it's all the same result. I have tried the Pixie Lash that I got, I think this month in my Ipsy Plus bag, box, whatever. Bust. I tried the Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama. Bust. The Unleash from Wander Beauty. Bust. It Mascara. Superhero. I've even tried the Flawless Definition from Bare Minerals. Nope. I've tried the Milk Makeup Mascara. I've tried the Grande Mascara. So many mascaras, people. The Clinique Mascara. NARS, Tart, the Tartiest, which I think is a Larry's name, by the way. I've tried the Marc Jacobs, the Velvet Noir lashes, and I mean, come on. Where is the mascara that I am searching for? Help me, YouTube.